I remember days when the sun so fun. Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul was not bad. I didn't mind it too much. Uh, I rated a little bit casually at the beginning of Miss. Miss, as much as people were like, oh, pandas, it's Kung Fu Panda. Miss was actually a really good rating expansion, I thought. But didn't touch a, a raid again after Miss. Too well, I got the plague. <laughs> Here's your reward for critting everything. The plague. Get out on a row. Yeah, I know. A lot of people gave it crap because I remember people saying, I'm not buying this Kung Fu Panda crap. And of course, I saw them day of release. This Blackwing Layer. I didn't really play Dream or, or Battle for Azeroth. Like I said, I, I kind of. We, ba we basically quit during Miss Favorites. Isle Thunder was pretty. Yeah, Isle Thunder was fun. Huge range. Ma, this new Vol'jin was going to become a major player. Um, man, do we have a team that can unlock that? If we do, that's what we should do. But I don't think we we have it, do we? Oh, we don't have a Vestal that can go. I mean, I can do double Crusader, but it's a little bit of a risk. A little bit of a risk. But if I did that, we we we'd be done. Where you find Dalaran? Burning Crusade. So the the first expansion. We would have all the bosses unlocked that we need to kill. To used to be Nine Elf and is now a troll. Guess we need to go kill the Pounder, huh? Let me see if we have a good team for it. I already know what team I want to take. It's a slow kill. Alright, which Hellion? Natural Swing and Tough. Shred Song stat is no longer obtainable. Swag. Precise Striker for the crit. Maybe. Maybe. Mankind Hater helps out a lot against the Fuse Lighter. We'll take 17. Old Skullman's Rogue Set. Tier point five, yeah. Uh, we're gonna take a man at arms. Corvid's grace, probably. Gonna take a jester. Hmm. Manslayer, beast hater, luminous versus. Basically nothing versus Daredevil Hard Noggin. We'll take Bladed Wolf. And then which of our Vestals will we take? I don't know about taking Din here. The the accuracy could actually come into play in, in this dungeon. Clotter Hippocratic. Luminous. Eldritch Hater. We'll take Clotter Hippocratic. Uh, some of your transmog druid problems yeah I remember that I didn't have to worry about that I mean on my main really but my main was not a druid um there's always a chance of a shambler Seven episodic. Oh, yeah. They say they were going to do two of them. Okay. We got all of our upgrades. Hmm. 
manager and tink forever. Um. Oh, let's go see if we can get this. I guess it doesn't matter this week. Because it's going to impact anyone that we have. But I don't agree rubber high wind, no. Doesn't matter. Um, maybe we should open this up too, so I got a better chance of getting some newbies. To do Apprentice to push that last little bit of meter. Remember when they weren't allowed in raids? So. Alright, let's go do this. Uh, another champion dungeon. Have a face of Shambler tonight. I think I am going to get rid of Ennui finally. Grey Rot falls off, so be it. I'd rather it not fall off, but... The Red Plague. You negative, negative quirks. See frag a dud hitter. Never mind. Tet's good. Kaz got thin blooded, which kind of sucks. Fading, I really don't like. It's really thin blooded. And fading. All right, we're good. Your trinkets, your naw. What's the collection you got? That said, screw the shrieker. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how many trinkets you can keep hold of when you don't have anyone dying. Parade where your tank is decent, good, never best. Pretty much good luck. Uh, community with that, bro. <laughs> uh, Max Clark, Maxa Clark. Max, thank you for the follow. All right, let's go do it. Let's go get it done. All right. Double healing trinkets. Defensive trinkets here. We're going to go Moon Cloak and Overture. As per usual, on our man at arms, also going defensive. So we're doing moon cloak, and I'll do dark bracer still. I don't know. Hmm. We actually have uh, we have Wilbur's flag. I'm gonna take that. And our hellion, hell's hairpin. Dark Bracer. Trigger, Chamber, Collector, Fanatic, Croc, Wolf, Things, etc. in the graveyard list. They're not in the graveyard list, but we have killed all of them. We've already been victorious against the Shrieker. Five Shamblers. Four or five Collectors. Fanatic. We beat two Crocs. We've beaten Wolf. We've beaten Thing from the Stars in this run. 200 Pemmican. We can expand about low food. Yeah, Pemmican goes by really fast. I get that too. But they seem to eat a lot of it. Beat Fnatic already? Yep. We beat Fnatic a couple days ago. First thing you think of, or... Oh, no, Trinket. Well, for me, it's not, because death happens. First thing I think of is, oh, God, we're going back to the old road. GPS for a tank. That's, that's almost always been the case, at least to an extent. Now, and that's sometimes one of their problems, too, is being a damage sponge, depending on how the heals are. Place the old road, no. Reserves, you can get over a year of no food if need be. That's a lot of pemmican. Time to have a VOD. There's a clip in the Discord. So, exclamation Discord, you can look at all the clips and highlights. There's a channel for it. So, you can join the Discord if you would like. Alright, let's go do this. All the food, stack shovels. You gotta take all this stuff in case you run into a shambler. I'm going to take the Aegis, too. We're going to take Aegis every time we go to a champion boss, if we have them. Uh, just in case. Just in case. Alright, we got upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, and camping. 15, a bit. Care to get separated? Pretty bad. Just keep your raid going, two fights. 
soft and rages. Take a stupid big hit and do some raid healing. All right, I think we're good. Um, we got our food, we got shovels, we got stuff for the Shambler. We haven't ran into the Shambler tonight, but it hasn't been that long. It hasn't been that long since we ran into the Shambler. Got upgrades, we get skills, already checked all this. All right, one of our last uh, bosses. Let's go. Eager to end the tiresome domestic distraction, I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth. And do their work. Compliance and order were me. restored, and the noisome population of the hamlet was called to more. Yeah, I have no idea how things are now, Darth. Haven't played in so long. Show every time from the start. I know that was crazy. You just take everything. <laughs> you take all the antivenom bandages and holy water you can. The war machine is close. There's a secret room right there. I'm gonna go grab the secret room, but the boss is over here. Luckily, there's no hall battle on the way to the secret room. Shape shift in between white hits or bleed ticks. Sounds dangerous. I mean, I don't know how it is now. How are we doing? We're doing. We almost had a game over tonight, but we're doing okay at the moment. Packs laden with loot are often low on like we survived a death blow tonight. It's only like the second death blow survival of this entire challenge or something. Close to it. Can you use a holy or uh, antivenom on that? Not a bear form. Some with a swift men. Bear for the boss smashed to the ground. As long as it's a slow hitting boss. For it once and it was a healer. <laughs> uh, we don't have room for like any loot, so. Fell to high percent trap disarm. Hall battle. Armored matchman, you'll be invincible. <laughs> There's the strategy. Cannon with only armored fuse lighters. So this hall battle has a 12% chance to be a shambler. We've already fought like five shamblers in this run. This team is okay against a shambler, but it's not as good as most other teams that we've used. Roll the dice, two shoes. Not a shambler. Let's go and buff. These can give rabies, which is pretty scary depending on who, it, who it's on for this battle. Because if we aren't able to hit the match lighter, fuse lighter, then we're gonna have a bad time. Okay, we'll go ahead and take out the dogs first. Let's go ahead and bellow, so hopefully we go first next round. Bellow only hit one of them. That feels really bad. Show in all shamblers, aren't you? <laughs> no, I have to explain these things. People must know how hard this is. Ugh, bad dodge. Okay, it's a lot of stress. 25 non-crit. Resist the stun though. Come on, guys. Oh, good dodge. Leave that alone. Leave that jester alone. God, we still didn't kill it. What? Why aren't you critting anything, 17? Shaman's on order. Destroy Not broke anymore. It's awesome, Narth. Narth, I'm not saying this just for you, and so you'll do it, but we are, we do have an uh, affiliate link with Amazon now, so if anyone wants to bookmark that link and do your shopping through Amazon uh, with that link, it'll help support the stream about 2%. What you purchase comes back and helps the stream out. There's that link. Thank you, count me out. Uh, I want to heal. The wounds of war can be healed. Holy crap, we're good, like no crits? Somebody wouldn't stress. And the stun. Rescue, you can do this too. Oh yeah, Darth. Wherever you would like to do it, of course, but just put the information out there. If you use that link before you purchase, or uh, before you do your shopping, it goes to anyone. A little bit will come back to support the stream, so if you're not using an affiliate link already, if you bookmark, bookmark that one for your Amazon needs, 
It, uh, it adds up, helps out a lot. Amazon link works outside. No, at the moment, the affiliate link is only for US. I can get one for Canada, and uh, I'm not sure if there's a EU specific one or not. But yeah, Skull Talus is one of the, my most hated moves in the game. Not gonna be able to uh, to stun him. He has 140 because of this. Holy crap! Leave our oh, good dodge. Leave our jester alone. Three skull tosses in a row. All right, let's see if we can get the stun in. About a, it's basically a flip of a coin if we get that stun. Hal, at this point, yeah, Hal. <laughs> As long as you're not doing skull tosses, jeez. Round seven with a ghoul? I mean, all things considered, round seven with a ghoul, we we're doing all right. Another resist. Now, how can give a disease? It can give the worries. I don't know, he's attacking really weirdly. Usually they kind of alternate things a little bit, but... Yeah, whatever. Their cursed champion falls. No disease. It came out alright. I, I can't throw down any supplies because we might run into a shambler. So. Scream so hard that you make someone catch a disease. The worries, yeah. Just put your fingers in your ears. That's what you do when you dodge. You just put your fingers in your ears. Any other time, the, the heroes forget to do that. Alright, let's buff. Speed. Crit. Accuracy. It's gonna be a long cannon fight. Long cannon fight. Ooh, please don't hit her. Okay, thank you. Holy water. Bandage. Herb. 9 to 16. We can crit for 24. 24 kills this, it doesn't kill this one. Alright. Headphone, are you using anything to hear the sound of the game? Yes. Speakers. Uh, they're turned down quite a bit, Alistair. But I'm also using a cardioid, cardioid microphone, so the sound doesn't quite pick up as much from that direction. So I can hear it. Uh, I don't have it super loud, though. Good heal, please. Spark was a fighter. It's younger years. Been the man at arms. So. Uh, I gotta try to kill this one. Their formation is broken. Talk more. Got something dumb that really am. Called work. I hear you, Kareem. Kareem, thank you for hanging out for so long. For the subscription, the resub. Have a good night, Kareem. But yeah, I'm hearing it through speakers. Good crit. As the theme uh, every time you get crit, it's scary. Blossoms. We're alright now. We're okay. We're gonna crit a lot tonight. A whole bunch. We're gonna make it. Now, when I was playing the uh, horror games, I did use a headset for that. Fought the Wolf? Yeah, Wolf is dead. I did Borg. Wolf is dead. All mini bosses are dead aside from Garden Guardian, and we can't fight him until after the Countess is dead. Eradicated. Eradicated. Hey, Borg. Success so uh, no more hall battles, please. I don't know, Wade. I don't know if it's a trick of the light. That sure is a hall battle. Have a good night, Kareem. Thank you again. 12% chance at a Shambler. 5% chance at a Collector. I can't throw anything down yet, just in case. Just in case. I'm not going to lose the run off of a Ruby. This 
This is why I bring the man-at-arms, though. This is, this is okay. I mean, it can be scary, too. But we're going to guard the Hellion. That way, if he does Tree Branch Smackdown, at least we have uh, some built-up protection. And a big bit of health. Chamber, right as you said that. I know. We have so many things like that. So many. Uh, let's buff speed mainly so that our Vestal can hopefully heal early next round. Can we stun you? What percent do we have right now? So we have a 130. So a 40% chance to stun. Oh, a dodge is even better. Don't have to worry about protection if you can just dodge. All right. I'm going to keep stacking uh, protection. Tree Branch Smackdown crit is super scary. Especially in champion. Easy. Um, let's go for the stun on her. Crit. It's always crits and always dodge. The strategy. The strategy. 12, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Keep on stacking it. So now we have so much protection stacked that it's like... It's maybe even like preferable that he uses tree branch instead of something else. Or, you know, we can just stun him. That works too. So now we can't die. He can't kill us. Um, and with all that protection, he can't get them even to death's door. So we should be fine. Snatcher Jester, death's door. Crone, death blowed. The mark move is very sad. That's I mean, that's kind of the same scenario we almost had with uh, the Swine God earlier. Only replace the giant with the Swine God and replace the Crone with Wilbur. That was our scenario. Only we lived. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens though. And because she's stealthed, you don't get to kill her sometime. I mean, I guess depending on what you have in your party. You don't get to kill her before the giant can do that to you. I almost always take a man at arms now to the wield though. Veteran and champion wield, I think I've taken a man at arms to every single one other than the hag fights. This playthrough, anyway. Flip through the Witcher 3 on the hardest difficulty. Got one shot by the tutorial enemies. What's it called? Death March? Something like that? Death March. I think it's Death March. Precision crit. And power. Good crit. So we get that stun again. Good crit. <laughs> when you stun, you have a 20% additional chance to apply stun. Or uh, when you crit. The move that applies a stun or bleed or blight, you have a 20% extra chance of applying those things. Uh, we're good on stress. Let's start killing. So she has a crit buff. Makes her deal extra damage to bleeding targets. A momentary abatement. Come on. Tree branch. Tree branch again. Perfect. Seven damage. <laughs> How much protection do we have, though? 80. 80. We're, we're capped. We're capped. We're capped. To make itself a better target. This didn't work the same way. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I think it might be a good thing if... It's not how it works right now. They're not guaranteed to hit marked targets, right? I think it might be a good thing if it was a guarantee. But they're just more likely to. Yards of Corbin's Grace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, it's dead next round. Did it do anything other than Tree Branch? <laughs> Jim Giant Wimp. It was like, why isn't this hitting hard enough? Maybe I just keep doing it. I'm gonna extra heal in. He's gonna bleed out anyway. Oh, I should have got in front of her. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, well. Monsters. How much resolve experience you get for a medium apprentice dungeon? Three, I believe. I think uh, I think apprentice is two, three, four, 
and veteran is two four six. Sounds right. I think three morph. One two combo is very demoralizing. Let me know if I end up being wrong, morph, but I think it's two three four an apprentice and two four six in veteran. Two four six eight. I'm second guessing myself now. I think it's three. Let me know if I'm wrong. This is a weird team. This is a really weird team. Wait, why do they have a Virago? I don't know if I've ever had this exact team spawn. A Virago that spawns with enemies that don't leave corpses. What? Decimated. <laughs> well, what's the logic in this team? What is this? Uh, new team comp? I don't ever remember running into this before, but I mean, uh, when, uh, please don't give us a disease. I can give him one if you really want, but. Turns worked out, the giant went last, the jester got to move, but didn't make a difference. Chrome finished him so easily. Press Sucks. Definitely add deaths to the giant combos. That's usually how it works out. Such a weird one. Gift from the pit. This pants. She does what she wants. She has giant maggots. But it just doesn't make sense, you know? Like... I mean, she deals damage herself, but... The, the, the problem with the Virago, the scary thing about the Virago, for anyone that doesn't know... The Virago is the champion... Uh, Wield mob. So each each dungeon has a new mob that's added at champion level, and for the wield it is the Virago, and it spawns a mushroom from corpses. And if a mushroom is up, then you have all your healing skills locked. You can't heal as long as there's a mushroom up. So to have the Virago be with things that don't give corpses at all seems really weird. Set on by a spider. Crit twenty eight. Poison and died. No, they could hit that hard. Spitters. The spitters against marked target. That's why I always say kill the two spitters as soon as you can. Uh, the Webbers don't really matter. The Webbers are there. Like a Weber can crit for like. Depends on difficulty. Like eight or something, right? But they mark and they stun. And so you need to either take out both Webbers before you're marked. Or need to take out both spitters. If you do have someone that gets marked and you can guard them with a man at arms, just like we did with a giant, that helps out a ton because the mark damage won't apply to the guardian person. Another thing you have to be a little bit careful for is that if you're using the strategy where you use defender and then retribution over and over, retribution self marks. So don't forget that when you're in the wields or against spiders for anyone. Mick, seven months. Why, that's... That's more than half a year. Hope you're doing well. Haven't been around much. How you doing, Mick? Thank you for the resub. Using your Twitch Prime here. Financially supports the stream. I... Eh, but okay. 2019's been kind of a... Kind of a year. But... Aside from that, doing alright. Three back ranks. This can be devastating. Badger, 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 badger. Um, this cures stress. I think we might should leave it here. Because there's a scenario, like, maybe there's a Shambler right here. You know? And then we defeat it, but we're super stressed. We can back up and use this for stress relief. We don't really need it right now. Somebody leave it there. You can use a, um, Holy Water for 30 stress relief. Or just use it without Holy Water for 20. No Scout. No scout. Feel like another one spawns. You can only have one random spawn shambler per dungeon, luckily. Thank goodness, man. If you can have more than one spawn randomly per dungeon. Good dodge. This would be much harder. It's already hard enough. Alright, it's time. Ugh. Time to camp. We're gonna just get buffs only. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet 
screw it. We might as well feast to get that last little bit of stress off. All right, so we're going to stack dodge, dodge, and crit. She got the 13. That's really good. So she's up to plus 23% crit, plus her crit trinkets. And we're going to have the Jester giving her more crit. She should be able to one-shot the... Uh, uh, that's not a bad ambush, really. She should be able to one-shot the Fuse Lighter pretty much every time. Bad dodge. Oh, triple 16 crits. <laughs> Pain train time. For the boss. Well, the good news is, if that is a Shambler, we have all of our camp buffs. So, um, if it is a Shambler, I'm glad at least it waited, you know? Um, we're basically guaranteed to kill one of these. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're not guaranteed to kill the dog, and these can crit also. So, I tell people that you should focus whatever the biggest threat to your team is at that time. Which is true, but if there's an easy kill... First, you can do that too. Like a good example is um, if if I have the Hellion up here, and you know there's like a a Skeever in position three, and there's a Swine Hooker in position two. The Skeever is the one that can kill us most easily, but it has more protection and a lot more health than a Swine Hooker, right? So the Hellion can kill the Swine Hooker in a single hit, but not the Swine Skeever. So in scenarios like that, I would go against the kill biggest threat first and just get something that can hit you out of there. These nightmarish creatures right. can be felled. They can 12 percent chance at a shambler, 5 percent chance at a collector. We haven't had a shambler yet tonight, but we've had in the last couple streams. Don't be shambler number six. Okay, it doesn't sound like a shambler. I can open my eyes. <laughs> Sorry, it's full HP to kill when you can. Yeah, exactly. The less things hitting you... That's like with the giant. The giant can hit incredibly hard. But since he was the last one alive, you know, he's... He's not going to be able to kill us on his own. Whereas, like, if it was a giant and let's say... I don't know, it can't be this, I don't think. But two dogs. The dogs are not likely to kill us on their own. But if the giant gets to the death's door, obviously the dogs can. So, definitely prioritize things that can kill you or stress you, depending on what your biggest threat is at the moment. But if you have something that you can kill quickly, do it. Are you still doing uh, randomizers, Kitan? There's a lot more games that have randomizers to them than I really realized. Let's see what we can stun. We're actually not stressed. I'm just gonna buff. Seventy percent crit. <laughs> How high does it go? Hang on a second. He has Twilight Dreamer. <laughs> when did this happen? Kaiser. Look at your time randomizer. I've never watched one of those. I've never watched one of those. I should check that out. If we won the other day. When Wednesday morning. Not that one. Squandered a sub two. Wait, would that have been your first? I know weeks ago you were talking about sub two hour. Soul Blazer. I've never played Soul Blazer. I've seen you play it a little bit. Someone else was playing it not too long ago. Pretty nutty, but a little janky looking. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. All right, Paid for fight time. So to bring a skill, especially for them, better waiting for an invisibility to come off. Personally, yeah, I usually wait to. Same thing going. I used to early on when I played the game, but I don't do it anymore. Your first person, the best is two fourteen. 
you're salty about it. So was it your your fault? Like you did something, you made a mistake that caused you not to get the two, the sub two hour. Um, am I gonna use breakthrough? Probably not. So I'm gonna take adrenaline rush just in case she gets on death's door or somehow. We're definitely gonna use uh, bolster. We're not gonna use bellow here, so I can replace that. I'm not gonna use rampart. I mean, Rampart could save us a little bit if I stun. I don't think I'm going to use it. I think uh, Retribution is better in that slot for this fight. Uh, we're not going to take Finale to this. We actually might end up needing a Stress Heal, depending on how much we get crit and how long the fight is. Uh, Alright. Let's go to Boston and go back. Cost you about 45 minutes. Gotcha. So what was your ending time? Uh, we're not going to backtrack. Let's just top ourselves off. Got to remember that we have the Aegis if we need it. Aegis if we need it. Alright, let's do it. 229? It cost you 45 minutes? Whoa, that would have shattered your record. Change your skills. Only done that in town. You, so Nightwolf, you can change your skills in a dungeon as long as you're not in combat or camping. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get our buffs rolling. Would have been a perfect seed. It sucks, man. So, we need to kill the Brigand Pyro every single time it's up. Masterfully executed. Yeah, you can change camping skills. So, that's a really important one. Not only can you change your skills before you go to, like, a boss fight, uh, but camping skills, You, if you have the money, it's usually better to just get them all bring them to the dungeon and then before you camp you can be like all right what do, what do i need in this camp do i need to just get stress relief or can i buff or do we are people low with bleeds let me switch to that skill good dodges we have dodge super stacked right now two gambles one worked wonderfully the other screwed you over So this is a long fight. It's not generally super difficult fight, as long as you keep killing the pyro. But it can be a long fight. Camping is one hallway of hunger immunity. The only thing that makes you immune for two is starting the dungeon. So if you um, if you camp, you're immune to for just your next hallway. When you start a dungeon, you're immune to the first two hallways uh, at the start of the dungeon. So yeah, do that after work. So you can replay your randomized seed as long as you haven't randomized another one. I, I have no idea. I've never tried an actual randomizer myself. What's her crit? I need to double check. 81%! 81% crit. She's got so much. Good dodges. Dodge. You also have a lot of stacked dodge. Even with the minus. Eighty-seven percent chance to crit. Four a.m. Uh, we usually in the stream at four. Yeah, I usually don't uh, play Darkest Dungeon in full stream, but we're getting late into this challenge, so I'm pushing it as the full stream tonight. Maybe tomorrow night too. How you doing, Sky? Welcome in. Randomization. You can make a specific seat. See if you want. Didn't delete it. So you still have it. Gotcha. Crit is the best stress seal, isn't that right? Oh, crit repost, get out of here. Get out. Stop debuffing our dodge. Look at that, man. Crit and dodge. Crit and dodge. <laughs> 
Step aside, cry havoc. <laughs> I'm just dodging everything and critting. Uh, it's calling you with that world record back. Um, are there more people that are active on it now? I don't know. I think it would be hard for a game like that to end up having more active people. Oh, if we can get the kill here, we can put more damage into the cannon this round. Let's try it. Got it. Crit and dodge, the name of your band. 18 on the cannon, very good. This is insane. <laughs> Four of us, nothing in months. Dodge. Someone calls you're the only person who has a run. What What is it on, North? I think I asked you before, actually. I don't remember. There's still a slight chance we don't crit and kill this, so I'm gonna... Still counts. Old artist game called Majesty. Should have put Repose back up. <laughs> 71 dodge. 88% crit. Pretty good. It's not a good game. Still got crit though. That time. Put Repose back up. Keep critting and dodging. So chill. I'm still afraid that we might not get a crit. I mean, there's still a chance, so. 17 hasn't felled us yet, though. We got camping buffs, we got dodge trinkets, we got bolster going. It's good stuff. I'm sure Hellion was rolling first speed more often, though. This first one left up. No, it's just because I don't want to waste actions on it. That's the only reason. So, I just don't want to waste actions on him. I mean, as you saw, you know, he can crit us and... deal damage, but he's going to kill himself on the repost anyway. And... We you, you absolutely have to make sure you kill the match lighter every single time, or the fuse lighter, whatever. You have to kill it every single time, or else it's going to light the cannon, and it's going to do massive damage. So that's first priority, right? The pyro. And then if the pyro is dead, or, you know, we don't need to do anything to it that round, like, say we stun it here, uh, then you put all the rest of your damage into the cannon, because the, the only thing that matters is not letting the cannon fire, and then killing the cannon. Eight health, huh? Crit. Maybe you can't get it. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. No repost. <laughs> 78 dodge. So the cannon, when it fires, it does a massive AoE hit. Uh, so in champion, you're talking like Upwards of 30, like the top end of 30 on everyone. Somewhere around about there. Yeah, so we'd probably end up with a Death Door or maybe a couple of Death Door. Just kind of the same crit chance. Oh, I know, that'd be crazy. It can misfire, yeah, but I'm not going to bank on that. Not worth the risk yet. That's why I just take it slow, kill slowly. Match guy is super slow. He has like a minus 20 speed. So you should always be able to go before him. And just put all of your damage into him. And if you have any actions left that round, and you don't, you know, he's dead. You don't need to do any healing or anything. Just put it, the rest of it into the cannon. Entirely yet. You've made a mistake. We ate spicy food. 
Yeah, I have hiccups. Ah, uh, you're one of those. I like spicy food too. We miss fires though, the details, yeah. It's true. A crit. Now our Hellion can put some damage into the cannon. It's one of the easiest fights in the game as long as you bring a team that can kill the match lighter every time. The past few years rarely have even mild spice without getting violent hiccups. Bursts. Raising your eyes. It's not good. I'm not seeing anyone do it that badly. But I know a lot of people do have that reaction to spicy food. So good in this fight. Hellion's just so good. Like, she has a move set where she can hit every position. And she can hit everything super hard. She has great buffs. She's just a really good character. I'd be very happy living out spicy food. Same, and I've started more and more putting... So I have a thing of red pepper flakes on the table, and I pretty much put it in basically any dinner food I make now. Not not always enough to make it, like, super spicy. I don't want to get rid of, like, overpower all the tastes of the things that I've made. But more and more I'm putting red pepper flakes at the table. So now do you two only have? Everything too, yeah. The pasta I made. I'm getting hungry. I got leftover awesome pasta down there. Basically, I'm super hot. Next thing you know, you're suffocating from hiccups. I'm glad it's not having to be. Made it with five minutes to spare. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Welcome back. Hmm. Very good. Huge ladder's down. We gotta heal this round, though. We do get a big juicy hit on the cannon. Made you very upset. That jerk. <laughs> He's left for work. Paid for a pretty swanky hotel. I know you said that he was gonna be there. That was gonna happen. He was gonna be gone for like two weeks or so. Jerk being successful in his career, getting getting things for it. In their breakfast room, they have churros. Mmm, all you can eat churros. Chocolate fountain. <laughs> right signals. Seventeen rounds, and we are stress free because we crit like three times around. We also dodge like 80% of what they're doing. 70%. So this is when it gets to the point where I'm like, let's just rush the cannon. No. Just in case. Just in case. Bring you back a ring after this. What well, if it's made of churros? Is that alright? Ugh, such a long fight. It's a nice fight after the Swine God almost ended our lives, though. You know? It's nice. Chill. Definitely take a churro ring, but you have to give you a new one every day. <laughs> I'm the Swine God. Uh, he kept critting us almost every hit. We had a Death's Door, um, we had multiple Death's Door. Wilbur actually hit our Hellion, I think it might have been this Hellion. Will, uh, Wilbur hit our Hellion while she was on Death's Door. But we resisted the Death Blow, and then I ran away. And then we came back with a different team and destroyed him. And that, when we came back, I don't. I think we got crit once on the second attempt. On the first attempt, we just got destroyed. It's bad luck. Just really bad luck. 
Hey, another boss down, one of the easiest ones. I still think this fight, they should have done something different. You already get the brigand incursion with Wolf. So having another brigand boss feels kind of meh. I wish it would have been like a giant tree or like a giant spider. I know, and that's what I recommend to people too, only half. But I was trying to skimp on our, in, our, on our um, roster and make sure I leave lower levels so we can push meter more easily, you know? And I didn't end up leveling up an arbalist this time. And I regretted it. She clears the mark and the stun. As long as she's not the stunned one. Tomorrow? No, we can't. I mean, Darkest Dungeon 4 itself will take like four hours. So I got earlier today. Yeah, it was. It was. How many death door checks have I had? Two. Two. Gifted, faded. Gifted's good. Elder Chater's good. Free grip doesn't really matter. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.